So in this video, I'm just going to run through the basics of setting up a web page. So the first thing is I've just set out the, um, these two, which tells me that it's going to be a HTML document. What I need to do, most tags come in pairs, so I just need to say end HTML. What this means is all of my code will go between these tags. This is the opening, this is the closing. The web page is broken up into two sections, the head of the document and the body of the document. In the head, you just include information that's information about the web page, and the body contains all the information that actually shows on the web page. So we'll start out by putting the head up here. And again, this is one of these ones I need to end as well. So I'm going to do backslash head as well. And in here, I'm just going to put the page title. So I'm going to put title. And then I choose what the name of my title is. So I'm actually going to call this one just um, practice page. Oops. And then we end that one. Okay, so what we have here is we're saying it's doc type, we're saying this is the head of the document, and we're saying this word here, practice page, is the title of my document. So let's try that out. So file. So you're going to make yourself a folder, Google Drive file stream, my drive, GCSE ICT, software skills, 6.4 web authoring. I've made a folder called web authoring practice, and then let's just call this, we call it practice page one. Okay, then what we do, go into the folder I just made that, sorry, let's try that again. That saved it um, as a notepad document. We actually want it to be HTML document. File save as practice page one dot HTML. And then we click save. And what you'll notice now is we've got one which has got the Google Chrome icon. And if I double click that one, it's going to open up as an actual web page. And you can see there's nothing on there, but it is called practice page. So now what we'll do is add some content. So all of the content of the website goes in the body. So we have to open up the body section and then we're going to close it here as well. So everything that we want on our web page has to now go in between these two tags. So let's put a he heading. So I'm going to do H1. Heading one is the biggest heading. This is heading one. And we need to do a backslash H1 to say that's the end of heading one. And then we'll do in the paragraphs. So that's P. Oops, what we need to do then is end this one, backslash P to end that paragraph. Let's put a second paragraph in. This is paragraph two. And again, backslash P to say that we end that. So we've now just added this body section here. Let's see if that works. So again, we can just do Control S to save, or you can do File, Save. We just go back to that folder, double click. This is heading one, as you can see, it's the biggest. This is paragraph, this is paragraph two. And you'll notice that these are on separate lines, even though we didn't have to say anything in here about that. So that's the basics of how we set up the web page. Once you've set that up and you've closed this down, we'll just delete this one that I saved incorrectly. If you then want to edit this page, all you do is right click, open with, and you find the one that says notepad. Click it and it will open up a notepad for you.